pay for that. Much better. Can't buy that. of Cerberus agrees the Sator Sack must be destroyed. It's still chilly out here thanks to Grandmother. I thought you might arrive right about now. Then let us have our fight. such confidence the prince neglected to avoid um, stepping on the toxic strain of fungus so rare you would not have heard of it huh? that your reports have been immaculate of late, Hypnos. I have to know, who's helping you with them? It can't be Zagreus. Oh, <laughs> no, he doesn't help. It's just, I took the listing, only the important stuff up top, and spending just a bit more time on the priority reports, and guess it's working out. Look, whatever the case, the work's improved. It's been observed. You ought to keep it up. 
Aw, oh, thanks. Good work, Hypnos. Welcome home, boy. Tell me in brief, boy. Our own upon Olympus. Are they continuing to aid you as expected? They're still showing up and lending their support. I think some of them are a little disappointed I'm not planning to come join them, though I think they understand now that they owe the underworld a debt. We all have to do our part looking after the mortals, whether alive or dead. Indeed. I half expected they would disappoint, abandon you to toil on your own. At least thus far, they've honored their commitment then. They have. Pride has been the failing of so many mortals, child, and has brought low members of your family as well. And yet, I am so very proud of you for what you have achieved. I wanted you to be aware of that. That means a lot to me, Nyx. Though I never could have done any of this without your help. Even after I lashed out at you, after I learned the truth about Mother, you never stopped caring for me. And you put yourself directly in harm's way to find Father's will. Why do all that for me? I am eternally committed to this house. Long before your father came to rule, I was already here. When he arrived, I needed to do everything I could to keep order and establish with Lord Hades an agreeable relationship. But there is one more reason besides that. To get on better terms with the Olympians. They always used to frown on the underworld, but now that they know us, they seem much more willing to get involved and help with things. A reasonable guess, and not without some truth to it, but no, my child. My reason for helping you is simpler than that. It is because I love you. You may not be born of me, but I raised you like one of my own, and I have cared for you as I am capable. Nix, I love you too. Thank you for everything. Oh, hi! I had another question about your relationship to other Gorgons, do, sir. So... I notice you're not much for hissing, snake-like noises when you speak, and so on. Is that some sort of special Gorgon language or something? No, um, not exactly, Prince. It's what it sounds like. Hiss. Just scary hissing, really. It takes some practice not to sound like that with a forked tongue. I really wanted to fit in. Hey, how about you? Always wondered how come you have a surface accent. Were you born here? Oh, wait, me? I never gave it any thought. I guess it's from my father. He insisted that he teach me how to speak himself. Maybe it's in the blood. Maybe it is! Here's the catch of the day. All right, then. Give me the current special. What's new, Skelly? 